So Elon Musk is a different breed of an innovator and an entrepreneur and reading his biography at some point in time, I, I found out that, you know, you can't fail to notice the definiteness of his purpose even when he was a boy. You cannot fail to distinguish that this guy, there was something that was just directing him and that is just the voice of purpose if you asked me. You can actually look back like uh, Steve Jobs said and connect the dots in Elon Musk's life and you can see that purpose is at the core of who he is. So I've been talking about the lessons that we can be able to learn from Elon Musk about entrepreneurship and purpose pursuit at the same time. And today I want us to just learn one lesson about this. You already know it, but just the fact that I'm tying it to Elon Musk should make it interesting. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. In the previous two episodes, we've uh, already laid the groundwork for this and we've st- said and stated strongly that there is a very big connection between entrepreneurship and purpose, that you cannot remove one from the other. They're all entrepreneurs. They have their basis or their beginning or their core, their nucleus from purpose. It might not necessarily be pronounced. I, I don't need, they, know, don't, they don't need to say, oh, my purpose is this, this and that. No, it shows. It just drives them. It's already there. All they are doing is to change something, solve a problem, transform someone or transform people, transform an environment, bring change one way or another, contribute one way or another, add value into this life, and then they scale it. It becomes a big thing. KFC becomes a big thing. What, what, what are they doing? Solving one particular problem, making something unique and scaling it. Purpose is what drives all these guys. And where there is purpose, there is also passion. You can quickly tell that Elon Musk was gifted. He was talented specifically for what he is today. In other words, what he is today is strongly connected to his purpose. So when the fantasy... When... When he fantasizes the intercity space shuttles I talked to you about, you know, he wants people to move from one city to another using a rocket within minutes or within hours instead of taking days or instead of taking more hours. When he is fantasizing all these things, they are coming from his core. They are coming from his passion. They are coming from his imagination, his authentic self. It is within his field force of purpose. It is within the things that he is dreaming about. So we we need to understand that all of us are like that. Every single thing that we are envisioning in our hearts and in our spirits can actually transform things. Some of those things can transform things, can transform people and can be scaled to become businesses. And I've come to realize that for the most part, we will ideate mostly about the things we care about, things we are passionate about. Those are the things we will ideate around. And when you care, you are doing purpose. By the way, purpose is 100% connected to care. So if you don't know what your purpose is, I'm going to ask you this question. What do you care about? 
I'm not talking about what what what's going to bring you money. I'm talking about what do you care about? Your purpose is somewhere in there. And what you care about, once you do your purpose and you add value into it, it can become a money-making venture. The starting point of any success, therefore, is purpose in life. That is where it starts. It will be nearly impossible for Elon Musk to achieve what he has already done if he lacked purpose. I tell you, you can take that to the bank. You can even ask him. He will tell you it's never about the money. He will tell you many times you've seen his tweet. It's never about the money. It is about the transformation. It's about what he cares about. It's about the purpose that is locked deep inside of him. So as one of the few people that have been able to stay truly focused on seeing their purpose through, there is more to admire and learn from him. And I want us to learn from him one thing today. One of the lessons that I want to learn from Elon I want you to learn from Elon Musk is this dream on purpose dream on purpose if you read Elon Musk how he went to Russia if you read his uh, biography auto is it autobiography or biography whatever but how he went to Russia trying to get ro- rockets and they kind of like played him or whatever it is that happened there I can't remember the story so so well But when they were coming back in the plane, Elon Musk started designing his own rockets. Dream on purpose. You know, Zig Ziglar once said, people do not wander around and find themselves on the top of Mount Everest. There has got to be something that you are passionate about. This dude was passionate about space. Even before he had some knowledge about space, he was passionate about it. Now what I'm saying is that we the things that we are passionate about those are the areas in which our dreams are supposed to be. Don't have these dreams of oh you want to marry someone from the royal family, you want to marry a white person, you want to marry a black person. Those dreams are valid but I'm talking about purpose here. If you care about something transformational, that's where your dreams are supposed to be. If you care about your about education for example like I do, need to dream about building life signatures universities you need to dream about curriculums dream about better education systems dream about this and dream about the potential that is available in people's lives dream on purpose normally people are told to think bigger but i normally say think purpose first and then exemplify it i mean multiply it and you know bust it out That's how you think big. You start by thinking on purpose. That's why you need to start thinking and dreaming on purpose. I don't know what your dream in this life is. I don't know what your purpose in this life is, but that's where you need to get started from. You could see this dream in this man's life even as he was going to Russia trying to build rockets, buy rockets, sorry. Yes, yeah, got to be something that you and I are passionate about. Something that either is generated by anger or something that's just wrong or the compassion that we have just to make things right and as an entrepreneur you cannot afford to be alive without purpose or passion you can't in fact i think it's the same guy elon musk who says that if you need someone else to motivate you you are wrongly you're in the wrong profession as an entrepreneur You cannot wait for somebody else. It has got to be within. It has got to come from within you. Look within your field of talents and gifts and the things you care about and your heart. In there, it's the seeds for your dreams. For Elon Musk, it was always something to do with space. Always. Space is not something that this man has gone in there to make money. No, he's always been adventurous about it, always intrigued about it from a young age. It has never changed over the years and if anything, it is actually becoming bigger and better and better. And believe me, chances are that one day we shall travel in rockets from one city to another in just under an hour because of the dreams that Elon Musk has. He is dreaming about that. And that's where entrepreneurship is all about. If for example you normally move from one city to another using all these traffic jams and so on and waste time. And Elon Musk comes and tells you, "Hey, guess what? Here is a rocket. You can be able to fly it. Within an hour you are in another city. You don't need to go to a taxi park. You don't need to climb onto an Uber. Sorry, Uber." <laughs> 
<laughs> you just hop into this rocket and it takes you there. Aren't you going to do it? And you have the money, if you have the money, aren't you going to pay the man? You are going to pay the man. Therefore, the core of entrepreneurship is purpose. And the first lesson in entrepreneurship with purpose is dream on purpose. The things you care about, dream around them. They might be weird. Let me tell you something about dreaming on purpose. Sometimes you're going to be, you're going to be ahead of people. Like now, talking about flying rockets from one city to another. I mean, nobody in the world has done it. Nobody in the world has done it. In fact, when you say something like that, people start talking about regulations, all this regulation, that, and, and so on, and so accidents in the air, and so on. People think about the impossibilities. In fact, people think that it's not going to happen. You are way ahead of... That's what dreams are about, being way ahead of people. But stay with the dreams. Keep dreaming there. Someone who doesn't even have a kindergarten and you're talking about having a life signatures university, stay with the dream. You've never even hosted anybody, but you're talking about having a men's conference in February and you're inviting people all the way from South Africa. Stay with the dream. Dream on purpose like Elon Musk did. Doesn't matter how long it's going to take, but stay with the dream in your purpose. Tomorrow, we'll look at another advantage or another lesson we can learn from Elon Musk and entrepreneurship together with Purpose Pursuit. Stay tuned. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.